you struggle to come up with fun, engaging social media posts? Do you cringe when you have to be creative? And do you continually check your Facebook group to see if anybody has commented on your posts? <laughs> yeah, I think we've all been there. Hi, I'm Maureen Dobransky, and I help entrepreneurs create a Facebook group they love and make money doing it. There are millions of videos and blogs on how to create engaging posts, what works and what doesn't. From my experience, there are some fun things that will help you get engagement, or what I call the six stunning strategies to get engagement in your Facebook group. And then there are some boring things that are necessary, but will also help you to get engagement. These boring things are just that, a bit boring and not so exciting. But let's start there with the necessary but boring ideas, get them out of the way, and then we'll move into the six stunning strategies. So number one of the borings is consistency. This is so important. I like to think of it this way. When you walk into a McDonald's restaurant, no matter where you are in the whole world, you know what to expect. There may be a few small cultural things that are different, but the experience of walking into, ordering, and eating in a McDonald's is the same no matter where you are. The colors are the same, the big M is the same no matter what. Your social media should be similar. Your colors, your brand, and your tone should all be similar no matter where you are or what you're posting. And then there are a few key things that you should do each and every week. For myself, I host a Facebook Live every Wednesday at noon Mountain Standard Time. I also send out a post asking for group members to ask every question they have about Facebook groups so that I can ensure that they're learning and growing. And then last, I send a weekly welcome to my Facebook members, to the new members, and ask that they share what their business is and what they're doing on Facebook. I then encourage existing members to join the other groups if they need that product or service to support one another. And then, of course, I encourage existing members to help solve the concerns in our group. So consistency is really key. Number two of the boring ones is if you have a personal profile, a business page, and your group, it's important to know that Facebook does not like you posting business stuff direct to your personal profile. In fact, in fact, Facebook can ban you or put you in Facebook jail when you do that. So to get around that and then get more engagement, you can post something on your business page, share it to your group, and share it to your personal page. That way you get the maximum amount of, of exposure, and if others want to share it, they're still able to share it as well when it's posted that way. And number three of the boring, be yourself. I know the buzzword right now is just to be authentic, but really just be yourself. I'm typically a very hyper motivational person and many of my posts or videos will show that. I try hard to encourage and motivate at all times, but be yourself. Know who you are and don't try to be someone that you aren't. Play to your strengths. And before we get into the six stunning strategies, I'd just like to invite you to sign up for your free copy of my Footprints to Facebook Group Success Formula. The link is in the comments. And if you haven't already, please join my free Facebook group. It's all about helping you create a Facebook group you love and make money doing it. You can join my Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash sell your gorilla. And now the six stunning strategies to increase engagement in your Facebook group. Number one, motivational quotes with a twist. Now, I'm sure you're not surprised to hear me say motivational quotes, but I've learned a strategy where you tweak the traditional motivational quote and you get much more engagement and create a feeling inside of your group. For example, tomorrow's post inside my own Facebook group is, I have a long way to go, but I'm very far away from where I used to be and I'm proud of it. I've then included the statement to each and every member of my group, this statement, by the very fact that you're reading this, you are in the top 5% of entrepreneurs in the world. And it's true. So not only is this quote or this post motivational, it's complimenting my group members for taking action and for being in the top 5% of entrepreneurs in the world. 
these posts typically get a ton of interaction and sharing. Number two, share your core story. You've heard me say before that people like to do business with people they know, like, and trust. Share your personal story. Be a bit vulnerable, but share the real you. Number three, share your success, but in a humble way. As an example, when your membership, let's say, reaches a certain size, share that success inside of your group saying something like this. Um, I can't believe we're growing so fast. A sincere thank you to each and every one of you for being a part of this amazing journey. So you're sharing your success in a humble, thankful way. <clears throat> Number four, how-tos right now seem to be amazingly pop popular. People want answers, and with the internet, they can search and Google almost anything. So when you're creating your how-tos, be sure to create an interesting, fun, headline with how to so you can tweak and pique their interest. Number five, Facebook Live. Facebook has placed a ton of value on going live inside of your group. And don't worry if no one joins you for the first while. By far, the majority of views will come after the live is over. And I'd like to share a little secret for those of you concerned about going live. If you need practice on doing lives before you share it with the world, Create a secret Facebook group with only yourself and a good friend as members. Go live there and share it there. That way, only you two will see it. You can practice and practice and practice until you feel comfortable. So I hope that helps. And the last one, which I love, <coughs> are Facebook challenges. Creating a challenge inside of your group and promoting it both within your group and to your email address and then with paid ads, this is one of the few times that I like paid ads, but that is an amazing way to get new members and to get engagement. I like to add a prize or prizes for participation. And just to tweak your interest, stay tuned as there is an amazing Facebook challenge coming to sell your gorilla real soon. So whew, there you have it. Six stunning strategies to get engagement in your Facebook group. Please remember to sign up for your free copy of my Face Footprints to Facebook Group Success Formula in the comments below. If you haven't already, please join my free Facebook group all about helping you create a Facebook group you love and make money doing it. You can join at facebook.com slash group slash sell your gorilla. And last, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this video. Mm -hmm.